Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to a new video. So, here is the star of this show and this is the new C-Class AMG line. So, let's start with the video. Alright guys, so check out what we have here today. So this is the new C-Class W206 generation and look how beautiful it looks. This is it AMG line package, also a night package and 19 inch wheels multi-spoke with plug inserts a really stunning vehicle check it out so for the amg line version you can see that you have completely different front grille and also the front bumper has really amg line look and we can even say that amg look because uh, from all AMG line cars, this one is the most, which looks like an AMG. Also these sides, check it out, really aggressive looking. So the night package darkens everything around the star here. And we can see here the Distronic and Mercedes-Benz stars in the grille. And very nice digital lights. So the night package darkens here the mirror caps and also the window trim. And check it out the c-class from the distance and we will walk around the car so you can see the this cap backwards design so the cabin is more towards the back it actually sits right on the rear wheels so you can see how, how long is the front bonnet the front hood and uh, the front part of the vehicle is really large and this then silhouette really stunning looking also we have new horizontal tail lamps with this single line as you can see here and two cosmetic exhaust pipes here they are in chrome and also we have rear privacy glass for the rear, for the front is not allowed here in the EU, but for the rear it's allowed, so yeah, it's much better for the heat and you don't see uh, as much what is uh, at the rear seats. Also, you can see the two power domes on the front hood, so really stunning vehicle for sure. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So here in terms of the rims, in terms of the wheels, we have these multi-spoke AMG line wheels with black inserts and aluminum design and they have AMG engraved there check it out and the tire size is 225 40 19 inch and at the rear is 255 35 19 inch so wider at the rear here you can see the fuel cap this one is a diesel car with Ed blue but you can also get the petrol version and also the C43 the AMG model that one has the handcrafted engine but this one is more as a mile cruncher this daily driver so the range on this car is very nice it's around 1000 kilometers give or take so you can check out how many miles is that on the screen but it's quite a huge range i would say on the petrol cars this is a little bit less but still very nice around seven eight hundred kilometers so this car is very fuel efficient thanks to the 9G Tronic gearbox which lowers RPMs on the 9th gear when you are cruising on the highway so really really fantastic for the longer distance driving for sure so here in this case as you can see we have these very nice flickers on the paint and this is the manufacture opalite white bright paint really amazing looking for sure this, this is the new color very nice for sure this color so there is no diamond white anymore this is uh, the new color opalite white all right guys so welcome on board of the new c-class and right now we are going to check out how this car drives basically we can reset the fuel consumption from the start this car is very fuel efficient this car is really smooth it has very nice damping but obviously it depends on what kind of roads 
are you driving? So the new C-Class has a more sporty character. So that was the uh, reason why they did this car a little bit more firm. Here I set also the navigation so you can see how it works. And the car really is more stable in the corners and more the sporty character. And uh, yeah, really depends on the road, what kind of road are you driving. Also you can get an adjustable suspension which would soften the ride quality. So uh, I would recommend that to do that as well. But here in AMG line is not not something terrible but is more firm so but not very firm so I would say it's right balance for uh, what you actually need uh, in a car to have like a balanced driving also we did like semi um, firm braking but not very not very hard braking and the car was really really good here you can also see the augmented reality can you see these arrows so the car can actually show you on the screen like where you should go so i have here the disturning now set for maximum I, we can do that we can do three so i have three levels how far the car should be from car in front we can just go like this and the car can manage that very really nicely because it has a radar like a lidar scanner in the mercedes star in the front and also it helps by the camera so it's like combination of uh, of these waves which a lidar can scan like physically and also the camera image so here is once again the augmented reality and it points arrows towards the left so that's where i should go so the car does not stop at the stop sign so you need to stop manually yourself but then you can reactivate the distonic and you can just cruise so very very good and comfortable c-class if you compare this with the a-class or cla which are the compact cars the c-class feels like closer to the e-class so basically it's like a larger more grown-up car so this can be also uh, a benefit or maybe not as much of a benefit to you uh, the c-class definitely feels like um, not less nimble but it feels like a larger car so in the A class and also the CLA, you have this like a go kart feeling. So, uh, yeah, this one is more luxurious, more comfortable for sure. So, here you can definitely feel the size of the car. So, for longer drives, this is really nice and very, very calm driving. So, now the Distonic C you can see the car in front and keeps distance so right now i have it on yeah i had it on four so it keeps distance like this maybe about four car lengths so uh, if the car breaks in front this car also breaks very very smoothly so it keeps this kind of gap and very nice image check it out and these arrows like go into the distance this is a little bit like uh, uh, near the roundabout i would uh, disengage this because it it broke it starts to it started to break pretty uh, aggressively to keep the distance so that might scare someone who is behind you so if you are going uh, on a highway or in some uh, traffic jams uh, this is uh, really good to have but if you are coming to the traffic light or roundabout I would disengage if you brake or if you click here cancel it will disengage so very very silent actually can you hear outside it's like quite windy but here very very nice and calm driving I can also get the sound isolation for the windows 
it's like uh, it's not very expensive so I would uh, recommend to do that for even quieter experience but 9G Tronic is really like battery smooth so if, if you compare the CLA and A-Class with this they have 7 speed or 8 speed uh, double clutch gearbox but here in this car we have 9G Tronic which is uh, 9 gears so this transmission is really different it's not a double clutch so it's much more comfortable and the shifts are like really battery smooth it's very actually similar to the S-Class uh, this kind of shifts S-Class is even like really the pinnacle but this one is very close actually to S-Class uh, in terms of the shifting and uh, yeah in terms of the shifting in terms of the ride obviously the S-Class is more comfortable but uh, it's kind of close <laughs> I have to say it's it's uh, it's kind of close because really really feels like uh, a baby baby s-class this car many people say that it's baby s-class and I have to say it's it's a it's a correct statement we can go now 70 uh, that's the speed limit here and now we can go 90 so uh, really wonderful how this car can behave on the road for me personally I would choose for the if I would drive around the city I would choose a class or CLA just because I'm like active driver when I go uh, around like corners or when I'm, when I'm joining the highway you can see there are like a swooping a kind of turns like for example here swooping I sometimes when I have like a, I'm in a more sporty mood I'm driving more in a sporty way in this kind of uh, situations also on the roundabout and yeah basically I like to do that uh, because yeah, I like uh, sometimes more sporty uh, driving around the corners and also when I'm in some uh, some sort of country roads in the forest etc this car I have to say it needs to be uh, an AMG the C43 for you to have this kind of sporty feeling so this C class is much more comfortable than A class or CLA so this can be a benefit or not as as uh, as much of a benefit too so yeah personally I would go if I would drive a lot like a longer distance like almost every day uh, for for hours I would go for the uh, for the C-Class now also disengage because you can see here it's a stop sign and also auto start stop so if you are coming to the stop the car can turn off the engine see and the fuel consumption 4.2 liters wow that's uh, really crazy it's almost like for free this car can also save a lot of uh, fuel if you are uh, driving with the, with the diesel engine. Petrol is a little bit more, but still very good. But the diesel is like a, a champion of the consumption. So, and with today's fuel prices, which are at record heights, and, uh, the fuel economy is really good. If you are driving uh, quite a lot, it can save a lot of fuel. So here you can see this very nice interior. Check it out, the AMG line seats and also the sunroof, the panoramic sunroof. So let's hop inside, take a quick look. So here you can see the AMG Super Sport steering wheel and controls for the seats. Here you can open and also close the car really inspired by the S-Class, so we can say baby S-Class for sure, also two cup holders and some storage space so here in the middle armrest you can only open one side, check it out so when the driver has an arm like this, you can open only that side so that's really great and you can put many stuff here, also USB-C ports two ports here for this particular car and this new display which is turned 6 degrees also whole dashboard is turned 6 degrees so it's larger actually on that side as on this side so it's more driver focused it brings closer to the driver and you can feel it for sure also here you can see these air vents they're like inspired by the aviation and you can turn them however you want 
they have nice clicking sound and very nice for sure also the new touch operated steering wheel so this is the AMG line super sport and there is also performance steering wheel for the AMG models like the C43 and other uh, models in the lineup so really great you can also can get this in the same color as here this decor so you can match it and here are the seats they are AMG line you can move here the headrest and this is combination of Artico man-made leather and Dynamica this one is very smooth so this material is not very cold in the winter not very hot in the summer so really great and this is man-made leather the faux leather very good quality as, as well and here you can see the uh, headliner this is in cloth it's like in the sort of uh, crystal gray but it can be in black I would order this in black uh, personally I like the headliner here to be in the black color let me know if you would like to have this kind of or black one so maybe with beige interior this would match more but uh, I would say otherwise uh, go for the black also here you can see the lighting you can also check out MV lighting in the darkness so really really amazing for sure also you can get the memory seats so if you press here on the one I save this position the seat now will bring me forward to my driver position driving position and also the steering wheel will come more forward to the position which I saved so maybe a little bit less this would be better for me now press M here and then one and you can hear it tooted. that means that uh, it's saved basically so yeah this is the drive with the C-Class let me know what you think about this baby S-Class the smallest of the largest Mercedes-Benz sedans let me know in the comment section down below thank you very much for watching hit the notification bell and turn on all notifications and so notified for all future episodes and thank you very much for being here on the channel and guys i will see you soon in the next video have a wonderful day and by the way the fuel consumption is 4.1 liters crazy